morning. Namaste to each of you. Thank you for joining me this morning to honor your mind and your body and your spirit. Let's take a moment to become present. So find a nice, comfortable seated position on a towel or a cushion, block, um, whatever can have your spine and back of your neck grow nice, long, and tall. Opening up your chest and opening up your diaphragm and opening up your heart. Gently close your eyes and soften your thoughts. Soften your eyes. Soften your shoulders. Soften your heart. Observe your breath as it is, soft and gentle, bringing life into you with each inhale and relaxation with each exhale. Feel the grace of being present, returning to that awareness again and again. You may open your eyes now. For this morning's intention, you may think of a positive word or phrase to have with you on your mat and perhaps carry with you throughout the day. This morning's intention I'd like to talk about is light, winter solstice, which is happening this coming Wednesday, the 21st. The shortest day of the year is long on traditions all celebrating the end of darkness and a return to light. Yule or Yol was a ancient celebration observing winter solstice and the rebirth of the sun. Many of the Yule traditions still exist. For example, in many European countries at Christmas time, a portion of a Yule log is burned each night from Christmas Eve to the 12th night. Other celebrations at this time of year involve fire or candlelight. One of them is Hanukkah, and that actually starts tomorrow. And it's the lighting of eight can candles over eight days. St. Lucia Day, which is always on the 13th of December. And that, in that celebration, a young lady uh, wears a crown of four to eight candles. Uh, Diwali or Diwali, um, which is an Indian as in India tradition, um, that's called the Festival of Lights and it's celebrated over five days and its date is determined by the lunar calendar. This year actually comes real early, it's in October or was in October. And Kwanzaa, uh, the lighting of seven candles over seven days. When Ngazo Saba, the seven principles are discussed, and that's always December 26th through January 1st. And Advent. Advent is the lighting of four candles over four weeks to celebrate hope, peace, love, and joy. And that starts in November and ends December 24th. So to celebrate light, um, I'd like to do a um, meditation that is called a light meditation. So you sit with your um, nice, comfortable seated position with your spine again, nice, long and tall. And bring your hands to your heart center, Anjali Mudra. And bring your awareness to the sense of energy rising from the base of your spine and out through the top of your head. Imagine this energy like a warm white light beaming out to the sky. Gently inhale 
raising your palms past your face and slowly over your head through that beam of light. And hold your arms up. Ground yourself while reaching, creating space all through you. As you exhale, slowly extend your arms outward and down, a sense of drawing that light out and around you. As you bring your hands to rest on the mat or floor alongside you. Feel a sense of being warmly enveloped as though you were in a cocoon, a nourishing light. Bring your hands back to your heart center, Anjali Mudra, and stay in the light of this awareness, breathing gently, creating a sense of deeping, deepening self-awareness and acceptance of this perfect moment. You may open your eyes now and we'll begin our asana practice. So let's start with some seated, seated shoulder shrugs. So gently lift the shoulders up toward your ears. And the inhale, round them toward the back, round them down toward the floor and then up toward the front and up toward your ears, inhaling round to the back, down to the mat, exhaling. Ever so gently, ever so relaxed. Really coordinate your inhales and your exhales with your movement. And reverse the direction. And then bring the fingertips to each side of you. And then we're going to do some seated sun breaths. So inhale, lifting your arms up overhead. Bringing the palms together and then exhaling, bringing your hands back down to the mat. Big inhale, lifting up. And big exhale, bringing your hands back down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And when you reach the top, turn your torso to the left and bring your hands down 
to the side, right hand lands on your left knee, left hand lands right behind your hips, your torso is twisted to the left side of the mat, your gaze is sent out, and take a couple deep breaths here. And then lifting your hands up, you bring them up overhead and then twist your torso to the right, bringing your hands down, left hand lands on your right knee, right hand lands right behind your hips, gaze is out to the right, three deep breaths. And lift your arms up and we'll sweep them over to the left side again. Slowly guide them over, bringing them down, resting on your knee and behind your hip. Three deep breaths. And one last sweep up and over. Twisting over to the right side, bring your hands down. And three deep breaths here. And then come back to center. And bring our hands to heart center again onto the mudra. We'll do some chest openers and just bringing your arms out to the side. And it's not necessarily in goal post. You could do that, but you could bring your elbows down so it's a little bit more comfortable. And bring your hands back until you feel that um, your shoulder blades are about to touch or are touching. We're just kind of opening up our chest. And then bring your hands back to heart center. Then inhale, bring them out again, bring them as far back as comfortable, finding that sweet spot. And then exhale, bring them back to heart center. And one last time, opening them up, bringing them out. Almost like you're in a door jam and leaning forward. So your chest is open, your heart is open. And bring them back. Exhale, bring them back. And we're going to roll down on the mat. You could roll down either express method or one vertebrae at a time. We'll your choice of either having your legs bent or your legs straight. Bring your knees to your chest and give them a nice hug. Maybe rock a little bit, give your lower back a nice massage. Kind of wake up your whole spine. We're going to interlace our hands around our left knee and extend our right leg fully. And you can either have your feet up in the air or your foot right foot up in the air both toes are flexed pointing up to the sky or you can lower your right leg down to the mat whichever is comfortable and then we're going to bring the right leg out to the side as far as you can go that is comfortable for you you feel a little tension on your inner thigh there and again you can have that up in the air or on on the mat or on the floor. And then bring it back to center. And then bring your knee back to your chest and give both knees a nice hug. And we'll do that on the other side. So wrap your hands around your right knee, extending your left leg all the way down to the bottom of the mat. Both feet are flexed, toes up to the sky. And you can either have your foot off the ground, I'd say about 10 inches to a foot. 
or on the mat, whichever is comfortable for you. And then bring that leg out to the left side as far as is comfortable for you. And then back to center. And bring the left knee back to your chest. Give both legs a hug. And we'll do that again on both sides. So extending your right foot now to the bottom of the mat. Bringing out to the right. And then bring it back to center. And then back up to your chest. Give your knees a nice hug. And then last one, wrap your hands around your right leg, extending your left leg to the bottom of the mat. Swing your foot at, out to the left. And then bring it back to center. And then bring both knees to your chest and give them a nice hug. And we'll set both feet on the mat. Your feet are about hip width apart. We'll bring our hands down to the mat so the palms are alongside you. Navels tucked to the spine. We'll do a few supine cat cows here. So we're gonna tuck our tummy down, tuck, tucking our navel toward our spine, lifting our pelvis up, keeping our hip bones on the mat though as we do that. And then we're gonna arch our back for cow. And then roll, tucking your tummy in, lifting your pelvis or tucking your pelvis up toward the sky for cat. Arching your back for cow. Tucking your tummy in, creating kind of a bowl in your tummy area. Pelvis is lifting toward the sky slightly. Exhale to cat, I mean to cow, where you're arching your back. Inhale to cat. Very subtle movements. Exhale to cow. Inhale to cat. Exhale to cow. Inhale to cat. And with this one, we're gonna push down in our feet and lift our hips up toward the sky, coming into bridge pose. So just lift up as to what level is comfortable for you. You may feel your shoulders roll down underneath you. And that, if that's comfortable, that's great. Keep your knees parallel. Do not have them splay apart. And gaze up to the sky. And then slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Back down. Tucking your tummy in for cat. Arching your back for cow. Tuck your tummy in for cat. Arching your back for cow. Tuck your tummy in for cat and we'll lift up again, up into bridge. Knees are parallel. Maybe try to gain a little bit more height in your hips. And then slowly lower one vertebrae at a time, back down to the mat. And then cat rounding our, we're tucking our tummy in, tilting our pelvis up. Cow, tilting our pelvis down, arching our back. Cat, inhale. Cow, exhale. Cat, inhale, and push down into your feet. One last time, lifting up into bridge. And then lower 
one vertebrae at a time, back down to the mat. Then bring your arms, keeping your palms down, bring your arms out a little bit further and we'll do a few windshield wipers here. So we're gonna tilt our knees to the right, bringing them down to the floor. Inhale, bring them back up to the sky and then lowering them down to the left side. And then we're gonna inhale back up. Exhale, lower to the right. Inhale back up. Exhale, lower to the left. Make a nice fluid movement with your knees, inhaling and exhaling. We'll do this for a few moments. Really connect your breath with the moment. And then the last movement would be having your knees, bring your knees to the floor. And then we'll roll onto our side and lift up and come up into tabletop. So slowly ease your way back up. Come out to your hands and knees into tabletop where your wrists are right below your shoulders. Knees are right below your hips. Navels tucked to your spine. You feel an even distribution of weight in your hands. And then we're just going to lower our hips back down toward our ankles and extend our arms out in front of us, sliding them as far out for a nice stretch in child's pose. And then come back up to tabletop. Tuck your toes underneath and walk your hands back, coming into a squat. And then we'll push down to our feet and come up into mountain pose. We'll go through our mountain essentials for good posture. Our toes are pointing to the straight edge of the mat. You lift your toes up and spread them out as far as possible. And then bring them down to the mat and lift your heels up. And then bring your heels back down. Legs are nice and straight and strong. Knees are, have a nice, gentle, soft bend in them. Navels tucked to the spine and elongating your, your back and the back of your neck. Shoulders are relaxed and rolled back. Chin is kind of tucked toward your chest creating a nice long spine again. Crown of your head is reaching up to the sky. We're gonna take nice deep inhales, sweep our hands up overhead. And then exhale, bring our hands down to the mat, bending our knees as we go to support our lower back. And just take a moment here to check in, see if there's any tension. If there is, send a nourishing breath to that spot. See if you can ease it a little bit. Then inhale, bring your hands to your shins, flattening your back. Half forward fold, gazes down. Then exhale, send the crown of your head down toward the mat. And just let the, the weight of your head, work with gravity. 
And then sweep your hands all the way up overhead. And we'll come up onto our tippy toes into palm tree and just sway here for a moment. Just work on our balance. And then lower your heels back down, lower your hands back down to the floor, bending your knees. Inhale, bring your hands up to your shins, half forward fold, flat back. Exhale, bring the crown of your head down toward the ground. Again, let the weight of your upper body just hang there. And then inhale, sweeping your hands all the way up overhead again. Palms come together. And the right hand will come down to your right thigh and slide your right hand down toward your knee for supported side stretch. Inhale, come back up, bring both hands together overhead. Lower your left hand down to your left thigh, slide that left hand down toward your knee. Nice crescent shape. Inhale, come back up one more time on each side. Right hand comes down, sliding it toward your knee. Inhale, come back up. And last side, left hand comes down, left thigh, slide it down toward your knee. And then inhale, come back up. Bring both hands back down to the ground, bending your knees as you go. Inhale, come back up, half forward fold, flat back, gazes down. Nice long stretch along your spine. And then bring both hands to the mat. We're gonna bend knee, our knees and come down into a squat position. So we're on the balls of our feet, hands are on the ground. And then we're gonna bring our heels back down to the mat, straightening our legs, come back into a forward fold. And we'll do this a few times. So we're gonna, again, bend our knees, coming up to the balls of our feet, come into the squat position. Straighten our legs out, crown of our head goes down to, toward the ground, forward fold. And then bend our knees again, coming into a squat. And then send the heels back down to the mat, straightening out our legs. Crown of the head comes toward the ground. And then we'll sweep our hands all the way up overhead. Palms come together, palms come to heart center, and then palms come to the back of our hips. We're supported back then. We're just gonna have our hands on our hips, feet are about hip width apart. Shoulders are relaxed and rolled back. Chin is tucked toward your chest and just let your shoulders drop back, finding that sweet spot where you can still breathe comfortably. And then come back up. And we'll go on to our next page. How's everyone doing? So we're gonna sweep our hands up overhead again. And then bring them down to the mat, bending our knees as we go. We're gonna extend both feet to the back of the mat into downward dog. So not all the way back, but to the point where you're in a nice comfortable position for downward dog. Fingers are splayed apart and gripping the mat. Index finger pointing up toward the top of the mat. Shoulder, our arms are nice and straight. Chest is reaching toward our thighs and legs are nice and strong, but bending your knees and you'd be pedaling out here, walking your dog. And 
And then we're going to bring our left knee to our left elbow. So inhale, pushing off with the right toes. Bring your left knee to your left elbow. And then back again. And pedal out. And again, bring your left knee to your left elbow, pushing off with your right toes. And then back again, pedal out. And on the third one, we're gonna bring our left foot between our hands. So inhale, lifting your left leg, bring it all the way up and frame your foot with your hands coming into runner's lunge. And your right hand goes down to the mat. Left hand sweeps up and overhead. You can follow your hand with your gaze. Runner's lunge with a twist. And then bring your left hand back down. And you pivot our back foot down to the mat so that our heel is on the mat and push off in our front foot coming up to warrior one. Bring our hands to our heart center in Anjali Mudra. And you can be facing the right corner of your mat or if you want to twist a little bit facing the short edge of your mat, you can do that. And then with your hands in Anjali Mudra, we're just going to do some chest openers here. So open your hands, bring them as far back as is comfortable. Thinking of coming through a door jam with your, your hands on both sides of the door and walking through. We're trying to walk through. And then come back, Anjali Mudra. We'll do that two more times. So open up your hands, bringing them as far back as comfortable. Shoulder blades coming toward each other. And then back to Anjali Mudra. And one last time, opening up your hands. And then back to Anjali Mudra. And bring your hands back down to the mat. Bring your foot off the mat so it's back in the runner's lunge. We'll do another twist. So the right hand is planted on, on the mat and you're sweeping your left hand all the way up overhead, following it with your gaze. And then bring your left hand back down to the mat. Send your left foot back to join your right foot coming into plank pose. Shoulders are right above your wrists. Legs are nice and straight and strong. Heels are pushing to the back of the mat. Navels tucked to the spine, elevating your hips slightly. And then slowly lower to the mat, either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. And with your hands right below your shoulders, gently lift your hands off the mat, the baby cobra. And then bring your hands back down to the mat. Again, that same action, you're lifting your chin and your chest up. Gently press into your fingertips, coming up, keeping your elbows tucked to the side, coming up into cobra. And then keep pushing, coming up to tabletop and lowering down to child's pose. Bring your hips to your ankles, your arms are out front stretched. And then inhale, come back up to tabletop. We tuck our toes under, lifting our hips up to the sky, coming into downward dog again, and pedal out here for a moment. And 
And then slowly walk your feet up to your hands, coming into a forward fold. And then slowly sweep your hands up overhead, bringing your palms together. Then palms come to heart center. And then we're gonna to turn to the right side of your mat and open up into wide-legged stance. So our toes are pointing to the corners of the mat, heels are tucked in 45 degrees. Back is nice and straight, navel's tucked into your spine. And then we're gonna do what we did earlier during the meditation. So we're gonna inhale, bringing our hands up over our head. And as we do that, we're gonna bend your knees and come down into a squat position. And then exhale, bring your hands out and down toward the mat, making a nice circle. Then inhale, lifting your hands back up overhead, palms come together. And then exhale, straightening your legs and bringing your hands back to your heart center. We'll do that a couple more times. So again, starting to bend your knees as you lift your hands up overhead. Exhale, making a nice sweep of your hands, making a nice circle around you, circle of light. Feel that cocoon of light around you. Then exhale, bringing your hands back up overhead. And straightening your legs, bring your hands back to heart center. And one last time, inhale, lifting your hands up overhead, bending your knees as you go. Bring, exhale, bring your hands out and down. Inhale, sweeping them back up overhead. Palms come together, straightening your legs and bringing your hands back to heart center. Then we're gonna pivot our left foot toward the short edge of the mat, pivot our right foot toward the long edge. So we're coming into triangle pose, keeping our left leg straight, we're going to open up our arms. Gaze gently to our left fingertips. And then take our left hand and stretch it forward like we're reaching for something off the shelf. And then send it down toward our leg, down toward the mat. Coming into triangle pose. And you can send your gaze up to your right hand if that's comfortable. And then inhale, lift back up. I'm gonna bring both feet together, come back into mountain pose. We'll do that one more time. So inhale, sweeping our hands up overhead. Big inhale, big exhale, bringing them down to the mat, bending our knees. I'm gonna send both feet back to downward dog. And we'll Pedal out here for a moment. And our fingertips are gripping the mat, index fingers pointing toward the top of the mat. Arms are straight. Take some nice deep breaths here. And then we're gonna bring our right knee to our right elbow, pushing off with our left toe. So inhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow. And then back again to downward dog, pedal out. And 
Inhale, bringing that right knee to the right elbow. And then back to downward dog, pedaling out. And on this third time, we're gonna bring that right foot between our hands. So inhale, lifting the foot up, guide it between your hands. So your hands are framing your right foot. And then placing the left hand down on the mat, we're gonna sweep our right hand up to the sky, following it with our gaze, if that's comfortable. And then bring that right hand back down to the mat. Pivot our left foot, our back foot down to the mat. And then pushing off the front foot, come up to warrior one. Bring our hands to heart center. And again, you can either be facing the corner edge of your mat or to the short edge of the mat, whatever is comfortable for you in this twist. Then inhale, we're gonna open our hands up wide, bringing our shoulder blades together. And then exhale, bring them back together, Anjali Mudra, heart center. And then two more times. Inhale, open. And then exhale, close. And one last time, inhale, open. And exhale, close. Bring our hands back down to the mat. Pivot our back foot so we're back into runner's lunge. Our left hand goes back down to the mat, right hand sweeping up to the sky again. And bring your right hand back down to the mat. Send your right foot back to meet the left foot, coming into plank pose. Wrists are right below your shoulders. Heels are pushing to the back of the mat. Navels tucked to the spine. And keeping your elbows tucked to your sides, lower down to the mat, either knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Your fingertips right below your shoulders. Lift your hands off the mat, lifting your chest and chin up for baby cobra. And then bring your hands back down to the mat and gently push up, lifting with your chest and chin. Elbows are tucked to the side for cobra. And push, continue pushing up to tabletop, then lowering your hips to your heels to baby or to a child's pose, stretching out your hands in front of you. And come back up to tabletop, tuck your toes under, lifting your hips back up to downward dog. Pedal out here for a moment. Then slowly walk your feet up to your hands, coming into forward fold, and sweeping your hands all the way up. Overhead, palms come together. Palms come to heart center. And we're gonna, you can um, turn to the right again, or I should have said before, whatever side's more comfortable for you to turn since it doesn't matter on this one. So coming into wide-legged stance, toes are pointing to the corners of the mat, heels are tucked in 45 degrees. Hands are at heart center, the Anjali Mudra. And then we're going to bend our knees, lifting our hands up overhead. 
See if you can maybe come into a little deeper squat this time, this round. And then exhale, sending your hands out and around you, developing you in a cocoon of light. And then inhale, bringing them back up. Overhead, palms come together. Then straightening your legs and bringing your hands down to heart center. And we'll do that two more times. Inhale, lifting up. Overhead, bending our knees as we go. Exhale, bringing our hands down. Navel's tucked to your spine too. Inhale, lifting your hands back up overhead. Palms come together. Straighten your legs and bring your hands to heart center. And one last time. Inhale, lifting your hands up overhead, bending your knees further down. Exhale opening your hands up, creating that nice circle of light around you. Then exhale, bringing your hands back up overhead, palms together, straightening your legs, hands to heart center. And then we're gonna pivot our right foot to the short edge of the mat. Pivot our left foot to the long edge, coming into triangle pose. Bring our arms up to shoulder height. Gently turn our gaze to our right fingertips. And then reach forward and then send your hand down toward your leg, sending your left hand up to the sky and perhaps sending your, left, your gaze up to your left hand. And then inhale, come back up. And then bring your feet together. Back to mountain pose. And we'll bring our little toes to the edges of the mat. Heels again are tucked in 45 degrees. Hands come to heart center. And we'll lower our hips down toward the mat as we bend our knees, bringing our torso between our legs. Our elbows are resting on the inside of our knees. A wide-legged squat. And then bring our sit bones down to the mat. Straighten out our legs, coming into staff pose. You bring your hands into a fist and push your fist down into the mat, lifting your hips off the mat and bringing them back down. Get a nice, comfortable seat in staff position. We're going to flex our toes up toward the sky. And we're going to bring our right foot and place it on the mat, just on the outs, outer edge of our left knee. We wrap our right or left arm around our right knee and bring our right hand behind our hip and send our gaze over to the right. And then come back to center, bring both legs back into staff position. And then we'll do that on the other side. So bring your left foot to the outer part of your right knee, placing it on the mat. Wrap your right arm around your left knee, bringing your left hand behind your hip, twisting your torso to the long edge of the mat.
And they come back to center. Come back to staff pose. And bring both feet to the mat. And really feel anchoring in your sit bone area. We're going to tuck our hands underneath our knees and lift our legs up as we, with a straight spine, straight back, kind of tilt backwards, coming into a half boat. We'll do a few toe taps here. So bring your right foot da down so your right toe taps the mat and then comes back up. And then left toes come down, taps the mat, comes back up. And then both toes come down, taps the mat, and comes back up. So right foot down, back up, left foot down, back up, both toes down, back up, right foot down, back up, left foot down, back up, both toes down, back up. And now you see if you can release your hands from behind your knees. We'll do a toe tap, right toe down, left toe down, both toes down. And then put your hands back underneath your knees. We'll do a right toe down, left toe down, both toes down. And then release your hands, right toe down, left toe down, both toes down, back up. And one last time, with your hands under your knees, right toe down, left toe down, and both toes down. And you can bring your feet down to the mat and slowly roll down to the mat, or you can do the express method. Actually, I think I will try the express method. That might feel good. And just kind of roll down. Actually, that really feels good. If you want to just kind of roll back and forth here for a moment. And then we'll come back to a stable position where our knees are tucked to our chest and we'll give them a nice gentle hug. We'll send our arms out to the sides at shoulder height. And we'll drop our knees down to the right side, recline twist. And slowly turn your gaze to your left fingertips. And then slowly turn your head back to center. Inhale, lift your legs back to center. And then slowly drop your knees to the left side. Exhaling as you go. And then gently turn your head to the right. Look at your right fingertips. And slowly turn your head back to center. Inhale, lift your legs back to center. And slide your feet down to the bottom of the mat. Bring your heels to the corners of the mat and let your feet just flop open. And then bring your arms down about a 45 degree angle, lifting your palms so they're facing up to the sky. Just let your whole body relax into your mat. Take some deep inhales and up exhales. The beach exhale, sink deeper into the mat. 
sink deeper into relaxation. The nutrients of today's practice soak deep within you. For today's poem, it's actually a blessing and the author is unknown least to me. It's a winter solstice blessing. May you find peace in the promise of the solstice night that each day forward is blessed with more light. That the cycle of nature, unbroken and true, brings faith to your soul and well-being to you. Rejoice in the darkness in the silence find rest, and may the days that follow be abundantly blessed. <laughs>